I had to laugh today. I was looking for a little bit of inspiration and I pulled one of my angel cards and it happened to be the card for healing. Couldn't be much more appropriate actually for me. And there was a section discussing, talking about um, the ability to just heal yourself. And in doing that, you're able to help others heal. And so I had the thought to talk to you about healing because that seems to be something that I was good at and I'm good at and um, personally, and so maybe I can share a little bit more information with you on that. So just the simple question of how do we heal? And I was thinking about it rather logically. I tend to do that sometimes. I was like, okay, let's think about this. How do we heal? First thing we wanna do is identify the area of opportunity. And I don't really wanna look at it as something as broken, it's more just again as an area of opportunity, something that maybe we could improve upon. It's working, it's okay, but we can make it a little bit better. Um, then how do we do that, right? By getting help maybe through a therapist or friends, people like that, um, talking about it, meditating, and listening to your inner voice. Those are great ways that we can go about identifying that area of opportunity. Then we wanna go about making a plan. Before I knew really what was wrong with me, um, ver when I talk about like the Lyme disease, I would go to the vitamin shop and beg those ladies for help with something for energy. And I was basically just throwing things at the wall, hoping something would stick. And it didn't matter what I did until I really had a clear plan in place, or actually, I guess, identify the problem clearly, then I could implement that plan against it and really put effort into fixing that area. Use the plan. We can often do this where we'll make a plan, but then we actually don't do anything with it. So we actually have to implement the plan. Then know and be okay if it changes over time, because technically it should. As we grow and expand and get better and heal and layers come out of us that we were carrying around that we didn't necessarily need, then things can begin to shift and change. And so rightly so, the plan of support that we have put into place for ourselves should change as well. And recognize when we have healed. This is something that I guess I probably could say is a good final step. We go all this way to heal and we're so focused on healing, but when do we actually step back and say, oh, we've actually healed. And I think for me, a great thing that helps me to identify when I've really worked through something is when I no longer have emotional residue tied to it. Whereas I'm not crying about it anymore. I can talk to someone about it without getting a giant lump in my throat and feeling like, oh, I'm gonna be upset or I'm embarrassed about it or I'm ashamed about it or I have guilt or fear or clearly, obviously, if this is something we're healing from physically, we still have some physical issues and now the physical problems are no longer there anymore for us either. They've all gone away. And so these are great ways to sort of check and balance yourself to see, have I actually healed? Did I truly work through this? Do these patterns keep coming up or are they gone now? And I am free to move on to something else. And maybe that's another way when you're no longer thinking about it any longer. And that happens to me some days where I'm like, Ooh, I haven't thought about that for so long. And whereas before I was like obsessed with it or constantly churning over a problem, and now slowly but surely I've maybe worked my way through it and I've healed and I've let go. So I think also one other thing that I wanted to say about that in terms of when you can identify that you've actually healed is when you're able to look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, I love you and mean it. Stand there with yourself, hold that space for yourself. I don't know if any of you practice this, but it took me a long time to be able to do that without wanting to look away, without feeling weird about it, without having any anxiety, and just to say, I love you. I accept you, I see you, and I'm proud of you. Good luck with your healing. I hope you guys can get through this too.